and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal Idunyate, and I am so excited to craft with you today on this super snowy Wednesday. I'm waiting for my comments to just click on here on my iPad and then we're gonna go ahead and get going once that happens. And it's taking its sweet, sweet time. If you are new to my channel, we should start there. If you are new to my channel, hi and welcome to this corner of the interweb. I hope that you enjoy today's live stream and I hope that this helps to inspire you to get your crafting supplies out and tell some stories. I am, oh, there it is. Yay, oh, let's turn the volume back off. All right, hello guys, hi everyone. Happy Wednesday. So yes, as I was saying, if you are new around here, hi and welcome. I hope that uh, you enjoy today's video. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can catch all of my crafty content and my weekly Wednesday live streams. Hope you are all doing well. It is a snow blizzard here in Michigan and actually the kids are home from school. We had a snow day um, because it's just snowing too quickly for the plow trucks to be able to take care of everything and better to be safe than sorry. So that's where we're at. Today I am going to be working on a couple of Project Life spreads. I'm working in my 2020 spread and my, not 2020 spread, 2020, two album and my 2021 album. So in uh, for the 2021, we're working on week 36. And for um, 2022, we're working on week four, which was actually last week. So staying up to date on all of that. As always, these live streams are an invitation to you to craft along with me if you like, to hang out in the chat and get to know some crafty friends, or to just listen in while you are multitasking your day away. While we're waiting for everyone to come in, let me know in the comments section where it is you are tuning in from and if this is your first time making it to a live stream. Before I change my camera over to my desk today, I do have a couple of housekeeping items and announcements to get out there before we get into the actual crafting for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and then we'll switch over and we'll get started on the layouts. So first and foremost, last week we did the very first giveaway or we, I had you all comment to enter into our very first giveaway and today I'm excited to announce the winner. So last week I asked you to let me know in the comments after the video had completed and that's key because that helps me to keep track of who's participated. Um, I asked you to tell me what your favorite cold weather activity was. And you know what's really funny about that is our our temperatures here in Michigan got a little bit warm for, for a few for like a day, maybe it was only a day. And now we're back to cold and snowy. So it was really nice to read through all the comments and get all kinds of ideas for things we can do while we're snowed into the house for the next couple of days. Uh, sitting by the fireplace, reading, cuddling under a blanket, binge watching TV are all fantastic, fantastic ideas. And a lot of you talked about going out and playing in the snow and downhill skiing and going on snowmobiles and all of that sounds fantastic and um, adventurous too, right? So my winner for last week, um, the profile name or what, what comes up on your name is, it looks like Kim Koa Kim. So it's K-I-M-C-A-O-K-I-M. And if you are not here today, I will also reply to your comment from last week and let you know that you have won, and then we'll figure out how to get your goodies to you. So last week's giveaway was for a, a collection of supplies from the One Little Word mini kit number two from 2021. Today, I have another giveaway and another question for you all to answer in the comments after this video concludes. So once we are done with the live stream, you're going to want to come back to the video and leave a comment letting me know what is a recent show or movie that you have watched recently that you loved. Um, 
I have a feeling we're going to be watching a lot of shows in the coming days. So I would love some recommendations on shows or movies that you have watched recently that you've really loved. And let me know where it is, where I can find it. So on what streaming service um, you found that show or that movie. That's going to be the question. And uh, the giveaway this time is going to be for this jumbo packet of Project Life-ish supplies. And I'll pull this out and show you what's in here. Um, this is just a bunch of things that I'm de-stashing and everything's really nice. It's just stuff I'm not going to use. So I'd love to send it to somebody who will love it and use it in your crafty projects. So that's going to be the giveaway. Um, the next thing I have, I've got my little list of things that I don't want to forget to tell you. Um, the next thing is that we have started a new month. It's February. Yay for a new month. The month of love, right? And that means that I have new Story Kit Crush themes that I'm working with for my Monday and Friday video series. If you are new to me and you don't know what Story Kit Crush is, uh, it is a series where I take a collection of supplies from a kit called a Story Kit that is... Um, products that are all themed around a specific word. It is something that you subscribe to from Allie Edwards. And every month I pick two kits. Uh, well, this year I am picking two kits and I am using them all up to tell all kinds of different stories and essentially crushing the kit, right? So just getting rid of it and getting it out of my stash. So this year I am working, this year, this month, I am working with the Breathe Story Kit on Mondays. And on Fridays, you're going to see um, half will be the care story kit and half will be the teach story kit. I was originally planning to do delight, but the delight kit still hasn't shipped to anyone. So nobody has it. Therefore, we can't crush it. So I'm going back in my stash and finishing out two kits that I had previously planned, but I didn't finish it out. Like I only made enough to do videos on Fridays. And so, you know, long story short is I had a lot of stories to still tell and I'm working on crushing those for the month of February. So you will be able to see the two different or three different kits, I suppose, uh, on Mondays and Fridays here on my channel. So that is that. Uh, and last but not least, I uh, because it is the beginning of February and uh, the beginning of the months are always the best time to join in my Patreon group, I do just want to put a plug out there for it and let you know that I do run a an exclusive member group over on Patreon where we do more live events, kind of not necessarily craft along with me. Uh, but more Zoom type of hangouts and events. Um, and then I also have extra process videos over there if you're ever looking for more content, specifically dealing with the Story Kit Crush series. So I have extra videos over there for that series. So um, because a lot of the events are live events, the best time to join is always the beginning of the month because then you'll be able to participate in as many of them as you can. Um, so there's that. I always have a link for Patreon in my description box. So you can head down there to click that link and go find out everything that you will get in that member group if that's something that interests you. And if it's not, well, you guys get me here every Wednesday, so it's all good. Okay, guys, let's get you turned around over to my desk view. I'm going to show you what's included in the giveaway package kit for this week and then we're going to jump into the project life spreads and i'm also going to see if i have missed anything in the chat real quick um so so i can you know respond to you um one thing i will say is that the chat tends to move really quick for me and um a lot of times it's just hard to catch everything so if there is ever a question that you have that i don't answer let me know in the comments afterwards and I will be happy to respond to you there. Um, and, and I think that'll cover it. So it's, yeah, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> you know, it's just sometimes it's hard to keep up. All right, guys, so let's get you uh, turned around and get to work, all right? All right, 
So I'm gonna make sure that we're straight here and then we should be good. Oh yeah, I did pretty good. Yay. All right, so this was last week's thing. That's, that one's going out. Um, let me see if you guys have any questions that I can see right here. Um, I did see a question, I swear. What time are the events? Um, so Mariska, just so you know, the, um, there, so over on Patreon, there's a bunch of different events. So every Monday I do a one o'clock coffee hour. It's from one o'clock to two o'clock Eastern time. And that is a Zoom call. I've also got a once a month Saturday Zoom event that takes place from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern time. And then I have a book club that uh, is on a Thursday night here. My time's at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, the Zoom, the three-hour Zoom event is always the third Saturday of the month. And the book club Thursday night is always the fourth Thursday of the month, except for November and December, because those are holiday months. So we have to change things up. Otherwise, you know, nobody's going to come on Thanksgiving. So, so we can't do that day. Okay, quickly, let's quickly, quickly go through this. And then uh, we'll switch over to, we'll switch over to Project Life. So this packet right here is uh, what I'm giving away. It's just a bunch of stuff that I have here. It's all great stuff, but I don't use it. Um, so I have a bunch of different alphabet stickers. Some of them are, uh, are more lightly used than others, but they're all still good. They all still have pretty much all of their, at least one of every letter. Um, and they're fun. I don't use a lot of puffy sticker alphas anymore, so that just doesn't make sense for me to keep. Then I've also got a couple of embellishments from, I have, these are from the Teach Story Kit that I didn't end up using, and these are a bunch of things from um, Paper Person that I didn't end up using. So just a little couple bonus things. And then I just have a stack of cards, right? So... Um, some of these are Feed Your Craft, some of them are Paper Person, some of them are, um, I don't even know where, there's some Paige Evans, <laughs> there's a lot of Paige Evans, I think, um, and then some more Feed Your Craft. So a bunch of three by four cards, and then similarly, there's a bunch of four by six cards. I feel like these are mostly patterns or just sentiments I didn't think that I was going to use. So feed your craft again, some paper person, some patterns from I'm not sure where <laughs> and that. So it's just a bunch of paper and cards and then a few embellishments. Um, and the other thing I have here is an envelope filled with die cuts and stuff. So um, just a a mix. There's a bunch of stuff in here. It's a total mix of pieces I decided I would very likely not use. Uh, so some of it is vellum, some of it is uh, puffy stickers, some of it is just die cuts, some of it comes from Feed Your Craft, some of it comes from Paper Person. You get the idea. So it's just a total mix of a bunch of stuff that I decided I probably wouldn't use and somebody else can use it instead of me. So that is this week's giveaway. And remember to enter. You just wanna come back to the video after it has concluded and answer the question of what is one recent show you've watched and loved or movie, show or movie. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so. Oh, what do you see here? Okay, uh, ask. Asked to start with three question marks so she can spot them really quick. That is a great idea. That is a great idea. That's I'm gonna write that down and let's give that a try <laughs> because yes, sometimes it is really hard to find the questions. Um, so let's do that. All right, you guys. So if you have any pressing questions that I do not get to and you want me to answer while I'm here live, um, start your question with three question marks so I can spot it in the chat. That's a great idea. Thank you very much for that. 
Okay, so we're going to get started with week 36 in my 2021 Project Life album. So for this one, and you guys, I get a lot of questions on, or I've gotten a lot of questions recently on my, um, my what are these called? Binders and my planning sheets. So um, there is a series of planning sheets that I have created myself that you can find in a link that I put in every single video description. Actually, let me grab the folder so you can see the ones I'm talking about. So these ones where there is a place to sketch the page and then places to put different information for all the different sizes. So I have like three by eight and traveler's notebook size and I'm all out of that one, but six by four and six by eight and six by 12 and nine by 12 and ten, like literally every size, 10 by eight, 12 by 12, all the sizes. These are included in that link that you can get in the video description. I call these my planning, I think they're planning sheets or planning pages or something like that. So um, these are those. Now I did redesign them in for this year because I wanted to put them in a binder to make them easier for me to grab and use. So the binder that I have here is from Allie Edwards, but it is sold out. I did, however, have a friend send me a link and I didn't put it in the video description I should have, but a link to a similar sized album that um, that holds the same size pages. So I'll see if I can, I need to add that to my um, Amazon storefront so you guys can find it. But um, it's just a really nice way to organize all of those pages. And then the pages make it really nice for organizing stories. These ones here that have the Project Life um, layout, these are from Allie Edwards and they were in a paper pad that I got from her for like a dollar. Like they were super on sale, so I grabbed them. And the configuration isn't perfect, meaning um, like the, the design that she has on the page does not match any of the designs in the page protectors. So you do have to kind of like scratch some stuff out, but it works. It was only a dollar, so I didn't care. I figured I could use them. So that is where this one comes from in case you are wondering. Um, <clears throat> okay. So that is that. All right. Okay, so also typing in all caps, right? Yes, that does help too. What size are your pages? Um, Mag, do you mean the pages in the little, the little albums? They're about, if that's what you're talking about, those are five, five and a half. Yes, five and a half by seven and three quarters. Because uh, I made them the same size as these. So five and a half by seven and three quarters. If this is what you mean, then uh, these are nine by 12. So either way, hopefully that helps. Okay, so here we go. So for this one, um, this was the official week that we moved into our new house, which is really exciting to like finally have this documented somewhere, right? So I've got, I did not have a ton of pictures to pull from, but surprisingly, I still had quite a few. I was really, I was really happy with the number of pictures I had from move-in day because you figure like, you're gonna be so busy moving in that who's gonna be taking pictures? Luckily, I still had some, so super awesome. For this layout, I am using a, com uh, is it a combination? Not really, most of the cards here come from the best story kit from Allie Edwards. This one, I didn't get the whole story kit, I just got the cards when they were on sale in the Stories Revisited sale because I really liked the cards and the sentiments and I felt like um, I felt like they would go really nicely with lots of different types of storytelling. So I picked those up. Um, I also pulled out these circle label stickers. Those are from Allie Edwards in the Storytelling Basics collection. And then I have a couple of tiny phrase sticker sheets and a collection of chipboard. Let me get a tray to not lose these a collection of chipboard from my stash. So one of the nice things recently about, I will, and it's nice, but it's also, 
It's also a little bit more difficult, right? A little bit more time consuming um, about not having any of the newer kits yet <laughs> because of all the shipping stuff is that it is forcing me to go back in my stash and use stuff up. So the nice thing is, is I'm using my stash. The uh, not as nice thing is that I have to like curate my own kit, so to say. So it takes a little bit more time. Um, because of that, I did go ahead and pull out my chipboard early, like instead of doing it with you guys, because I have a lot of chipboard and it's just easier for me to do that. Um, it's easier for me to do that beforehand. Okay, so um, what I'm planning to do here, this one's gonna be quick and easy, really. One of the reasons I chose this configuration here, where it's got the three six by fours and the two six by fours over here is because I didn't have a ton of photos. So it made more sense to have larger photos um, than lots of small ones where I had more cards, right? So, um, for example, like this one right here, I'm not going to do anything to it. So it says, oh my darling, it's true. Beautiful things have dents and scratch scratches too, which I loved this because when we moved in to the house, um, there were a bit more dents and scratches <laughs> than we anticipated. So, um, that one just seemed really fitting. Um, because our house is beautiful. We love our house. It's amazing. But also it was like, oh, you know, it's got these dents and scratches. And then I also have this card that says cultivate the habit of being grateful, which is from the habit story kit. And I pulled that one out because um, moving is chaos. And so I felt like that was very much a part of our mentality of like, be grateful. Um, I'm grateful that it's finally here and grateful that everyone was able to help us and just all the gratitude, right? Um, so, all right, so I'm gonna cut this one into a three by four so I can use it as my title piece. And then the other three by four can now go in my stash, which is kind of nice. I really like this pattern, so I am cool. I'm cool with that. Um, then, do, do, do. Then what I want to do is I think I'm going to add this. Do I want yellow or do I want blue? Or red? Hmm. Maybe I'll let you guys decide. Um, I'm going to stamp my dates onto here for my title card. So should I do red, yellow, or blue? What do you guys think? And in the meantime, I am going to spread these around because this is going to come together so fast. All right, so I'm thinking more please. I kind of like here, maybe. I wonder if I've got a word that says like sleep. More sleep, please. Find beauty today, maybe right here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put a chipboard on all of the photos maybe, or at the very least all of these larger photos. I kind of like this one, <laughs> finding beauty in the mess. That's hilarious. I will tell you the story behind this one here in a minute. But then I had also pulled out some other ones to potentially put like, so we moved on Labor Day. So I liked the idea of using <clears throat> the Labor Day weekend. And maybe I'll put that on this one of me. The not easy down here on the one of the kids. Possibly... There's a lot of yellow, yes. I kind of like that that the uh, that mentality, that, what I want to say, not mentality, reasoning. I like that reasoning. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that, I'll go with red. Gut instinct is yellow, I know. I love yellow, so I put yellow everywhere all the time. Let me just see. Okay, if I do this. You know what? Here's another reason why I like the red. Because it gives me this triangle effect, right? What is that called? Visual triangle? When you got like one here, one here, and one here? Kind of works. All right, let's do it. I'm going for it. Um, I'm going to do my best to get it in the middle. That looks good. And then... We don't think too hard about things. We just... You know, 
we'll let them be what they're gonna be. All right, so my dates are 9-5 to 9-12. So it's September, oops, 9. Get my thing here out. Okay, so we go September 9th, 2021 to uh, the 12th of 2022. Okay. All right. We'll call that good. I was considering, actually, I really do like that. So I'm gonna put that there. All right, so the question is then, do you, I want to, I feel like I want to also layer in a tiny phrase sticker under the um, chipboard. Or another thing I've done before. All right, let's test this out. <laughs> when all else fails, cut it apart and then place it and you can figure it out. <laughs> All right, so if I took these other two colors, so maybe I did like this one here. And thinking like how to make these other ones pop a little bit more. I kind of like that. You know, I alternatively could go like this. So it still has a bit of that. Hmm. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> yeah, am I okay with that? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I like that picture better there. I feel like here's <laughs> here's why I'm fussing around with this. So I've got the picture of the two kids here, and this is um, Jonah and my niece May that are just playing. This is, they had come over to help us move in and uh, Jonah and May were just kind of hanging out and playing on the couch and being super cute together. She loves Jonah. So, and is like obsessed with him. It's really cute. And he's, you know, he's like the older sibling, even though they're not siblings, but he treats, he treats her like he's the older sibling and gets all annoyed with her and then goes and does the same thing to Izzy, like is obsessed with her and she gets annoyed with him. It's a whole thing. So, um, my thing is, is I've got a picture of the two kids here and then I have a picture of Jonah and Izzy here. So it's like two kids and then two kids and then this random one. So I kind of like the pictures with the two kids broken up with the one in the middle. I like that better. So even though I, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to think too hard about it, but I do like the circles there and I do like that overlapping, you know, over these chipboard pieces. So I think what I'm going to do... This one, I added a chipboard that says making the most of this month. So that's going to be the title card. And then my uh, journaling card, this one, I'm just going to stick in. So I'm not going to worry about doing anything to the journaling cards to any of them because they're fine. <laughs> the words are their embellishments. They don't need anything else. Um, so that's fine. And then I'm also going to go ahead and stick these guys in because you know, same. They got lots of words, so they're fine. And, okay, so then I, okay, so this one and this one and this one, I'm thinking I'll layer with a tiny phrase sticker. So just to make it so it's not so floaty. Oh, and this one too, right? So maybe what I'll do, <laughs> here I am just like 
changing my mind on everything. All right, so let's stick this to the side for a minute and put these on because I don't want to accidentally stick these to anything. Okay. All right, so Jill, I see your comment about um, moving it to the bottom. I might test that. So maybe I'll stick these on here first and then test that out and see what I think. So fun way to use more label stickers, right? I know we all have probably a million of those. Okay, so if I've got those, let me test that. Let me see what I think. Because you're right, I could move it so it's slightly, you know, it's not on the same plane. And maybe that would help. Okay, so if we've got that one there, this one here, we've got Labor Day weekend at the top, listening and learning at the bottom. Maybe closer to the edge so that we can still see them. Actually, yeah, I kind of like that. So let's do that. Great suggestion. Thank you, Jill. <laughs> okay, so now we just need to stick this on here. Maybe like that. This is a picture I took of myself in the car <laughs> with all of my crafting stuff in the back seat because I didn't pack my crafting stuff into boxes. I'm like, no, this is way too precious for that. Oh, and I did still stick it a little too close. Ugh. Of course I did. Um, I was like, it's way too precious for me to put this into a box and trust somebody to carry it, you know? So, no. All right, so there's that. And then we'll do this one. Cannot believe I did that. Well, I can believe I did that, but that's okay. So, and let's try to not do that again. And by that, I mean, um, I put it close to the edge side to cut part of the chipboard off. Oh well. All right, there we go. So, it gives me a bunch of labels. So we get a little bit of consistency on the spread from those. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in here because that's all I'm gonna do for the two middle photos. So that's that one and this one. And then we just have the four outside photos. So for those, let's figure out, okay, and anytime there's one of these little chipboard ones, I've always gotta add some twine, like, <laughs> or the, the chipboard tags is what I'm trying to say. Anytime there is a chipboard tag, I am adding twine because I like twine and why not? Um, so I'm going to do the black and white because there's a lot of black and white on here. So that makes sense to me. Ooh, okay. Gives it a little bit of texture. All right. So um, what do we got here? So I've got the picture of the kids, kids, cat, and Jonah sleeping which let's see if I have anything here more more something is there a word like resting more <laughs> refresh hmm, maybe awake that is the opposite of what I need more energized no Dude, everything is exactly the opposite. More early bird. Yeah, no. More more changes, please. Yeah, no. This is probably definitely not how I was feeling. Hmm. <laughs> None of these make sense. More living more thriving. <laughs> I don't know. Does Jonah laying on the bed make you think of thriving? Could make me think of thriving. What do I have here? Uh, more improving. <laughs> That's funny. More me time. Mm. Maybe care. I mean, there was care in here too. 
All right, so I'm thinking <laughs> good choices. That could be, um, <laughs> that could be funny for this picture. Oh, rest. Look at that. There it is. More rest. That's what I wanted. Okay, we're going to do our best to cut this straight. I have a hard time cutting tiny phrase stickers straight. Do you guys have a hard time with that? Like it always ends up wonky. And I don't know why. All right, so more rest, please, is what I wanted. Okay, there's that. Done and done. I threw all that stuff away. Okay, get over there. Okay, so then I've got doing my best. That's definitely going to be one. Uh, being better. Hmm. <laughs> it's the journey to decompress. That could be a good one. Um, just because I find it really funny, I am going to put, where did that go? Where did that go? Good decision. Good choices. Yeah, we're going to do that because that's funny. That just makes me laugh. And um, healthy focus, lifestyle, self-care, deep breaths, nutrition, a better me, worth it. Smart decisions. <laughs> that would be funny too. That's not, yeah. It's funny because it's it's the opposite, right? All right, better me, exercise, nutrition. Da, 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 da. I think I'll put it's the journey. All right. So one, two, three, four, yes. All right, so if I've got find the beauty, we're gonna layer under here this, it's the journey. And then put this on top. Come on. Okay, it's the journey. Okay, then, okay, so we talked about that one. We talked about this one. This photo down here, okay, so when we moved into our new house, uh, we got the keys the Thursday before, um, the Thursday before Labor Day. So it was Labor Day weekend, right? We knew we were gonna be able to move on Labor Day weekend. We had contacted uh, family, nobody had plans. So we had all of our help lined up, it was great. And then on Saturday, cause I'm thinking like the big moving day was gonna be actual Labor Day. Like everyone was gonna come over on Labor Day to move. And on Saturday, might have even been Sunday, Izzy started not feeling good. And we're like, you know, shoot. Um, cause she's in, she's in school. She's around people like, oh no, does she have COVID? So, um, on Monday morning, Labor Day, I took Izzy to the urgent care to go get her tested because we couldn't have people come help us if, um, I, you know, I feel like it was Sunday night that she started feeling bad Sunday night. And we were, you know, so then Monday morning, we're like, oh my gosh, we have to tell everybody they can't come until we get her tested and make sure that um, she doesn't have COVID. So this was us on moving day at the urgent care, getting her tested. And luckily it did come back negative. So then uh, we were able to call everyone and tell them, you know, you're good to come over <laughs> come on over and help us move, um, which was good, but also really stressful. So it was not easy and we were doing our best. Um, because of that, my father-in-law wasn't able to come on moving day. So he came later in the week, which is this photo here with him and the kids that he had come and um, was helping us with a couple things around the house because we didn't need to move anything anymore, but we still had a bunch of stuff that needed to be done. So he came and helped with that and really, really, really helped watching the kids because I needed to get a bunch of painting done. So in this one week, we painted, um, plus the weekend before, we painted 
almost our whole house. <laughs> like it was, it was insane. It was insane. I was so sore. Um, this week I did the whole kitchen myself, you know, and kitchens are the worst. I hate painting kitchens. I hate painting kitchens and I hate painting bathrooms. They are the two worst rooms to paint. <laughs> so that's that. This one up here, um, our basement is not finished at the new house. It's one of the things that we have a goal to do is to finish the basement. And uh, the ceilings are all exposed and all that. So the cats, and particularly the little cat pumpkin, was obsessed. Like he was so excited to explore the ceilings. And we didn't know that he was doing that, except uh, one day I was upstairs and I kept hearing all this banging. Um, coming from like the heat registers. And it, of course that's very scary. You're like, oh my gosh, what's happening? We have new house, it's making all these weird noises. So I went down there to go figure out what was going on. And I looked up and the cat, I don't even know if you can see him. The cat is um, on the beam, <laughs> like staring down at me. And when I saw him, it was, the, I just died laughing because he was like a deer in headlights. Like, like he was caught and he knew it and he knew he was going to get yelled at. But also there was nowhere to flee to because he's, you know, eight feet up in the air. <laughs> like, what a dummy. So I, of course, grabbed my phone and took his picture. And that's why, you know, this is <laughs> good choices. Um, meant very tongue in cheek. And then this one is just, um, Jonah was playing in his room with Legos and it got really quiet and I went upstairs and he was passed out in his bed with all his little lovies and it's just a really cute picture. So um, that one went into the album too. All right, so that is going to be layout number one. So we've got, you know, one of the things I do when I'm working in Project Life is I tend to stick to design formulas. So I'll say like, okay, um, you know, like I did here, I'm like, oh, I use this one label, so let's use a couple more. And for the photos, every photo is a chipboard and a tiny phrase sticker, a chipboard and a tiny phrase sticker, right? Tiny phrase sticker. And that is for all those, all of the photos on the top and the bottom row. And a lot of times I'll do that just to help me make faster decisions and also to create, a, you know, a cohesion between all of the elements on my page. Okay, so um, journaling for this one, I'll read through this real quick and then we'll pull over 2022 and get to work on that one. So for uh, this one, embrace the wonky Jill, thank you. Yes, I just need to embrace the wonky. It's my perfectionist side in me that really wants to cut tiny phrase stickers straight and can't. <laughs> You're right, I should just embrace the wonky. Um, okay, so we've got best of today. Um, and this, again, was from the best story kit. So this one I wrote for, I think just in general, no, it was for down here. So I said, moving day had finally arrived and we were all so excited. We lucked out, really, since we were able to move in over Labor Day weekend. Nobody made plans for the holiday, so everyone was available to help. Monday started on a rough foot, though, since I had to get Izzy tested for COVID. We were all nervous for the results, and Isabella was not happy to have a swab shove, shoved up her nose. It was awful. Luckily, she tested negative. Thank goodness. So we were able to have our family come help with moving all the furniture and finishing up some of the last bits of the painting we were hoping to get done. Um, and then I've got the best is yet to come, again, from the best story kit. This one, I said, once all the furniture and boxes were moved over to the house, it was time to get it all arranged, or it, at least as best we could. While moving and painting, we noticed some pretty significant spots in the carpeted floor that sunk when you stepped on them, and some bad squeaking of the floors in the kitchen, likely from water damage. We knew from the first days that we were definitely looking at replacing the flooring ASAP. And we did. That wasn't, that was always something we wanted to do was to get new floors. Like when we bought this house, we're like, yes, we're going to replace the floors eventually. Uh, but not something that we expected to do within like the first two months of living here. Um, but we had to because we had subfloor issues and water damage in our kitchen floors. Um, so it just needed to be done. And I'm really grateful because I love our floors that we have. I love them. They're just beautiful. So the best really was yet to come. Um, then I've got today equals. Here's the story. 
I said, since move-in day was surrounded with so much uncertainty for Izzy and her sickness, we had requested for Tito to stay home and invited him to come over later in the week when we knew she was in the clear. It was nice to have him see the house for the very first time. He and the kids played together most of the day while Aaron worked at the office and I got the kitchen painted. It's been a beast to get this house painted, but I'm so happy with the outcome that it's worth it. Tito took a look at the door between the kitchen and the office to see if he could help with that too, but he thinks he'll need some different tools. Um, the door between, so Aaron has an office at the front of the house now, which connects to the kitchen with a door in between. And uh, when the builder made this home, I'm assuming, uh, they incorrectly made the frame of the door. <laughs> so it, it like bows in. Um, so I believe a standard door is 32 inches wide and at the top it's 32 inches wide and at the bottom it's like 31 and a quarter. So we had to, um, later, we actually did this in December. We finally finished it. We had to get some special tools so we could, um, like, shave the door down at the bottom so it closes. So now we have an actual functioning door in between the two rooms, but yeah, that was annoying. <laughs> so yay for small projects that have a very big impact when they are done, right? That's definitely what that was. Uh, and then this last one, it says hashtag winning best part of the story. Again, best story kit. Oh, and the today card came from the Storytelling Basics collection. I believe it's the Stories by the Year set from Allie Edwards. Okay, so for this one, I said the kids have been so good throughout the moving process. They both love their new rooms and have spent quite a bit of time in there while Erin and I have worked to set the rest of the house up. We ate out a lot this week and had many a late night. We probably should be stricter on the kids and their bedtimes, but it's been tough with our laundry list of things needing doing, so we can resume a normal schedule again. It was no surprise when I walked in to find Jonah passed out in his bed this weekend. I think this is how we all feel right now. <laughs> yes. So um, the beginnings of a new home, right? Which there are, I'm excited to tell the, the, the next stories in this process because um, it got a lot more dramatic, I think, before it settled down. <laughs> um, as you guys will see in the weeks to come, we actually didn't get appliances for two months. So we ate out for dinner every night for two months. And I'll tell you what, that gets old. <laughs> that gets real old after like even one week of eating out. Uh, gets old. So I have those stories yet to come and more projects and more, um, you know, just making making this place what we want it to be. It's just funny. All right. So I'm going to set that stuff to the side, put that over there, and then we're going to switch gears and go to 2022 Project Life. And this one is last week. So current stories. Um, the the layout I did last week, the, um, what I want to say, the right side of it has the nine three by four pockets. So that is what I'm working on the back side of this time. And this time, you guys, I actually planned this right. And um, I just, yeah, I did this right. I kept messing up the other weeks and planning as though the 2021 and the 2022 <laughs> layouts were one after another instead of being in different albums. I even saying that out loud, that sounds confusing. Um, but, but maybe you know what I mean. Okay, so for this one, I am using the remaining bits of my Breathe Story Kit. So you may have seen potentially that I had a video go live yesterday um, or was uploaded yesterday, which was my Breathe Story Kit planning or my story planning with the Breathe Kit for Story Kit Crush. So I uh, work ahead of time. I don't, you guys might know that about me, you might not. So I actually already have all of my Breathe stories done. Um, and I had a few supplies left over or that I purposefully set aside for a week of Project Life. So that's what I'm using this week because it just seemed to go the best with um, my photos and my stories from the week. Okay, so a couple of things that I wanted to use. I did finally get my Allie Edwards 
um, begin story kit and February stories by the month kit in the mail this week. And I purchased the plastic month add-on because I like having elements in my albums that are consistent throughout the entire year. So I am going to be using these throughout the album. I'm not sure if they're all going to end up like, I'm not going to be real, I don't know, strict about what week it's on. Like it's always the first week of the month or it's always the second week of the month. I don't think it'll matter. I just want to use it at some point in the month <laughs> on some random layout. Otherwise, I don't care. Um, so I have that to use this time. I also pulled out a label sticker. I'm going to use that for my dates, which means I need stays on because that's slippery. And then I pre-printed my journaling onto, I'm just seeing where this goes. I pre-printed my journaling onto my cards. This is something that I have a tutorial for here on YouTube. So if it's um, something you would like to learn how to do, you can check it out there. Um, I show it for both Photoshop and for Microsoft Word. I have a Microsoft computer, not a Mac. So that's why it's in Microsoft. Um, one of the things I wanted to do this week is use this card as my title, but I don't want the inhale exhale part. So I actually took this other card, which originally was a six by four. So this went together and then there was a piece that went below this that I used for something else. So I cut this bottom piece off to use in a layout and then I cut this one in half so I could use part of it on a three by four journaling card and the other part I decided that I could just use across the middle here to kind of tie in the blue color some more. And then uh, this is where my title and my uh, label sticker will go for the dates. Um, and that'll just kind of, it just uses pieces up, I suppose. Okay, so we've got that. So there's all my cards for journaling. There's a lot of words this week. That's okay. Um, all right, so then we're going to put the photos around. You go there, you go there, 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 and there. Okay. All right. So, um, I've also got some chipboard pieces that I had left over. So I've got four, I think. I might use them all, I might not. And I have these two pieces uh, from a six by four card where I've used the rest of them as die cuts. So I might cut these out. Like I was thinking about, I was thinking about fussy cutting these out and using them on some, some of the cards here. Like for instance, I'm just gonna do this really quick. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and die the, I'm gonna cut these out. Um, while I am cutting these out, I can talk to you about the photos here that I have included for the week. So the first one on the left-hand side, this one, uh, is one that if you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen in my stories. I uh, was home with Jonah on, I think Tuesday last week, Aaron had gone into the office, it was just me and him. I set him up downstairs with a show to watch. He's super into Blippi right now, which if you have a toddler, you might know what Blippi is as well. It's a, uh, children's programming show um, that is live action. So we love it because it's him being entertained by like live people and not cartoons. And they talk about like cars and science and like all kinds of stuff. It's a good show. So anyway, he's watching Blippi. I'm like, I'm going to go upstairs, take a shower. I'll be, I'll be back. Like you stay here. I'll be back in just a few minutes, whatever. So I get in the shower and like <sighs> almost immediately Jonah starts coming in to, I don't even know what he was doing, collecting hair ties, I think. So he'd like come in and grab stuff and go out and then come back in and then go out and come back in. And I'm like, um, you're letting all of my warm air out. <laughs> like, you're the worst. Stop doing that. So um, I suggested to him, I'm like, hey, why don't you go get your tablet and you can bring that in here and you can watch it so that you can stop going in and out. So he did. He went and got his tablet and then he jumped in the bathtub and decided to like prop it up <laughs> and lay down in the bathtub and watch it there. And of course, I've got a shadow cat who just follows me around everywhere. It's pumpkin right here. And so he's also joining in on the uh, shower get together as well. <laughs> it's just funny. 
They are so funny. I actually kind of like that. See how those are like, those are so pretty as embellishments. I like them. Okay. So that's that picture. Um, and this was after I had gotten out and I was drying my hair and I just snagged my phone and took a picture of them. This one was Jonah and I playing um, with his crane toy. He has a, a toy that you can like disassemble and reassemble it and they're really cool. So that's that one. And he's obsessed with trucks and cars and all that kind of stuff. And then um, I taught him how to make peanut butter and jelly. So we were working together to spread peanut butter here. I propped my phone up, set a timer on it, and snapped, snapped a picture. This is one where my cat, uh, Dibs, the other cat, is cuddling on the couch. He's, he's, so Pumpkin follows me around but doesn't necessarily want to be cuddled. He wants to be pet but not cuddled. Dibs is the one who can't get close enough to you, like, he wants to just like mold into you. <laughs> That's dips. Um, and then we've got, uh, these two photos are from a walk where Jonah and I went from our house to our downtown. We have a little cupcake store downtown. So we went and got cupcakes and coffee for me, um, which was so nice to get outside. Also, it was really hard to pull a wagon in the snow. I didn't consider that. So I just figure it's a really good workout. <laughs> the, I worked out and got the cupcake and then we walked back, which is essentially, um, in our family, we call that a fat walk, meaning you go and walk to some, like go and consume a bunch of calories and then walk back. <laughs> That's somehow that, you know, it equals itself out. So it doesn't count. <laughs> and then I've got a picture of um, my book club for book club, both in my local book club and in the Patreon book club, we encourage dressing up. So um, I dressed up like one of the characters from the book that we read. We read The 10,000 Doors of January, and I dressed up as a New England Archaeological Society member. And then um, in the bottom, I have a picture of Aaron and I in a thrift store, which is something we did as a very random date night this week. So we had a spontaneous date night. Uh, Aaron's best friend was supposed to go, was supposed to have a birthday party, we thought, on Saturday. So we set up babysitting. I was going to stay home and work. Aaron was going to go to the party. Um, and then we realized that the birthday party is this coming Saturday. And we already have plans. So <laughs> like, whoops. And we were like, well, let's take advantage of the babysitting. And I guess I'll put work away and let's just go on a date. So that's what we did. Uh, I got Aaron the adventure book for Christmas, which is like a scratch off, um, a scratch off a date kind of a book. So we scratched one off and it told us to go thrift, thrift store shopping and pick out outfits for each other. The date itself said to then put those clothes on and go somewhere public um, and like take on different personas, like come up with a different name and a different like like life and go have this date like you're two different people. Well, we're like, we're, um, I don't know, that just, we're like, yeah, we're not going to put on clothes without washing them. So we went thrift store shopping and bought clothes for each other. And then they're currently being washed. <laughs> so we, we didn't complete the rest of that date. Uh, but we did go see Spider-Man No Way for No Way Home for the second time. So it was a win. So that's a picture of us in the thrift store. We've never done anything like that before. It was really fun. Um, it was really fun. Okay, so that brings me to a question for you guys. I have a question for you to answer, for you to tell me. What is the most random date night activity you have ever done? Um, and tell me about it. What is the most random date night activity you've ever done? I would love to know. I am thinking, so now I'm just gonna stick these around for now, now that I've just chit chit chatted. All right, so not holding my breath. Hmm. Maybe that can go there, that kind of makes sense there. Just breathe and be mindful. Would you fit up here? Ooh, yeah, you'll fit there. And you can fit maybe here. Oh, but I also kind of like you there. What do I have this? I kind of like the chipboard layered on top of the mandalas. I think I'm saying that right. I'm probably saying that wrong, but 
I kind of like that. Um, I might do that. Alternatively, I could put you, no, nope, nope, nope. I like you better here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with that. Oh, I should also say that this card right here that says the story with a line down the side is half of a a six by four card. I cut it in half. I used this side for something else. And then this one, I was like, well, I mean, it'll, it still works as a journaling card. <laughs> so added some text to it and called that a day. All right, let me grab my stays on because I need to stamp on this really like slick label. I do not love the slick labels because they're just harder to use. Oops, sorry. You're gonna hear my kids a little bit. Like I said, it's a snow day, so they're out running around. Okay, so it's 2022. Last week was January something to 30, 24, 24 to 30. Okay, so we got Okay, that worked. And then two, three, zero. Here we go. Okay, so um, really quick what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll through some of your comments and just make sure that there's no questions I missed looking for the like three. Question marks. Nope, I think just Mag's question was the last one. Okay. Ooh, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to hear the dates. Okay, so um, presented, okay, thought about going out, but crashed on the couch instead. Oh no. You know what? Uh, I totally get that. I totally get that. Sometimes when you have a kid free night, you're just like, you know what? I just kind of want to sleep, you know, like, or like, can we just do nothing? Because for once in our life, it's quiet. And that's really nice. <laughs> of course, that's just me. Uh, that's funny. All right. So you guys are talking about um, monthly project life. Monthly project life was intriguing to me for a little bit. Uh, I decided not to do it because, I don't know, there's something for me like with the consistency of doing it every week that just helps me get it done. But I definitely see the uh, appeal, right, of, of doing project life monthly. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this here. I think what I'll do is I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to staple it on. It is kind of hard to see, but that's okay. I think because there's a pattern behind it, but I don't care. It'll be fine. I'd rather have it used than wait until next year. I'm like, I'm not going to use it next year. So I'll staple that on and then put my label sticker with the dates like thinking like right in here okay all right so that gets me that next let's build this card Are you not? Is it something on top of this that's making it so it's not? <laughs> oh, it's folded. Okay. There we go. That was weird. 
All right, so. All right, so we've got that. And we'll put on a little bit of the mandala, which were so pretty. I really liked these in this kit. They were in a six by or a four by six card as a pattern, and I think I used all of them as embellishments instead. It's one of my favorite things to do when they have stuff like that on here on journaling cards is cut them out and use them like embellishments instead. Okay, so there is that one. Anything else I gotta build? This one. Then okay. I feel like today, like more than even other days, right? My kids are sometimes home. They were both home yesterday because Izzy wasn't feeling good and I didn't want to send her to school just in case. And um, they were not super loud. Like they were good. They did fight a little bit and I had to take away the video games because they kept fighting over video games. But otherwise they were pretty like they, not that being quiet is being good. That's not what I mean, I guess. But they were fairly quiet. <laughs> like, And today, and Aaron wasn't here yesterday. He went to the office. So then today he's here. He's got meetings all day. I've got live things. And they are just like screaming down there. They're not mad at each other. They're not fighting. They're just screaming. <laughs> like, like, I don't know what's happening. They must've got real bored of their video games today or something. Cause that's the thing, right? I'm like, okay, we have meetings and stuff. So you guys get to play your games. Won't that be so fun? Yeah, no. Okay, so last but not least, I am going to Add a couple of these on here and then we're gonna call this good. So I think I'll add one, two, maybe each of the each of these. So we've got uh I'm gonna read through them real quick just to see what's even on here. Create a beautiful life. It's all about embrace. Beginnings, don't force it. Meaningfulness, long car rides, inspiration. Okay. So I'm gonna say Let's go. It's all about embrace because we were embracing some playtime together. This one is maybe just like life as we know it. Then I've got I kind of like this one that says create a beautiful life. And, oh, I have this one down here too. Okay, you are, <laughs> get lots of rest. That's going down there with the cat. How about surround yourself with bliss? I mean, we are surrounded by cupcakes in this photo. So that's kind of bliss. And then get lots of breast can go here. Okay, and then I can put those away and we can put all these, well, actually, I'm not gonna put these in. I'm gonna take pictures of them, so I'm gonna leave them out for now. Um, but I will just quickly move some stuff and then I'll read you my journaling and then that will be our layouts for today. They both came together a little quicker this week because I didn't have to do anything crazy like stamping or whatever. Stamping always makes things last longer. Today I didn't do that. No, no major stamping. Um, speaking of stamping, something I'm thinking about doing, and I, I'll probably will end up doing it over on Patreon, um, but something I've been thinking about doing is taking my story stamps and creating some pre-made cards with them, like journaling cards, kind of like you would see in a kit like this, but um, ones that I can pull out of my stash because I feel like 
I feel like I don't have as many, like, I just don't have as, as much stuff to pull from anymore for my stories. And since I'm doing two layouts every week, I'm going through my product faster, which is a good thing, but also, but also I need more cards. So, um, I've been thinking about doing that. That's something I'm going to, something I'm going to consider here. Okay, so let's talk about journaling and then that'll be that. So for this one, I've got, uh, where do I wanna start? We'll start down here. So this one, I said the story, oh, this goes to the, the bathroom one anyway. So I said, as a mom of young kids, it is really, and I mean really, hard to get any alone time. Don't get me wrong, it makes me so happy that my kids and cats want to be with me all the time, but also there are situations where a little time for myself would be nice. Take for instance, showering. This week, I desperately needed a shower on a day Jonah was home with me. I got him set up with his tablet on the couch, let him know I would be back in a few minutes after I took a shower and then went up for a hot refresher. Not two minutes had passed before he found me. Into the bathroom he came, tablet and all, with a cat trailing behind. He snuggled into the bathtub to watch his show while I finished up my shower and dried my hair. Kids are just too funny. Then I've got um, this one, the stories matter, which goes to this photo here. I said, um, this year I've been making a much bigger effort to spend better quality time with Jonah on the days he's home with me. I've been really proud of my efforts, especially this week. One of the days, Jonah and I played a bit with his building toys in the living room after lunch. He loves to play with toys, but rarely does so unless someone is playing with him. I was proud of myself for putting down the to-do list and for work and chores in order to sit and play with him a bit. And boy, was he proud when he finished putting his toy crane back together. I want to do more of this in the weeks ahead and be an encourager of us both to sit down and play more. So actually, that went to that one, not that one. <laughs> this one goes here. So for so exciting, I said on Thursday this week, Jonah asked me to help make his lunch and I thought it would be a great opportunity to teach him to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or at least to work on his peanut butter and jelly spreading skills. I had him help me get two pieces of bread out of the packaging and then scooped a big spoonful of peanut butter on one slice and a scoop of jelly on the other. Using a kid knife, Jonah worked to spread the condiments over his bread. He did a great job and was proud of himself afterwards. Uh, then just breathe. I said, well, let's, whatever, this card. I said, this week I was a little busier with work than I would have liked. I feel like the end of the month came so fast. Next month I will be, next month I will finally be working further ahead of time. So this shouldn't continue to be the case. When I did have a moment to relax for a bit, my cuddle buddy cat was right there waiting in the wings. I love that this guy, Mr. Dibbs, is always there and so excited for a warm lap to sit on. Uh, so that's the stories here. For over here, I said, um, I'll start with this one. So this says, this story is seriously such a wonderful breath of fresh air. I said, after our adventures with making lunch on Thursday, Jonah and I bundled up and set off on a walk to downtown Holly. I had asked him earlier if he would like to go for a walk and if he wanted to visit the Holly Cupcake Shop. Of course, the answer was yes. Many of the sidewalks were still covered with snow, so it was a little bit of a workout, and I was definitely ready for a cupcake and coffee by the time we made it downtown. Jonah and I each got a cupcake and enjoyed eating them before heading home. We also stopped at the Little Free Library and Jonah picked a book. I loved our little day date. And then the last one I said, um, inhale, exhale. So on the inhale, I took that as like, sometimes when, not sometimes, when we breathe in, there's like tension in our body because our body needs to release the air, right? So like I took inhale to be like things that were feeling tense and then the exhale to be the relief, right? Or whatever. So for the inhale, I said, feeling a bit of tension going into a heavy work week with lots of self-imposed deadlines, but confident I can do it. And then exhale, taking breath, taking breaks as needed to spend time with the family outdoors, playing games and taking naps. And then inhale, getting really excited for hosting my first shelf life book club, making all the snacks, drinks and dressing up. And then exhale, so happy that the book club meeting was a success and feeling so filled up with gratitude for all who came. Inhale, 
going into the week with lots of plans and lots of goals, hoping to find time for doing it all. And then exhale, enjoying a spontaneous date night with Aaron and having a lazy Sunday morning with the family. Which um, I, th I thought that was really cool to look at your week in terms of like where were moments that it was like pressure and then where was moments where it was relief um, and, and how our weeks have so much of both included in there, that it's not just one, it's not just pressure. There are also those moments, whether they are big moments or little moments of the relief as well. All right, friends, so that is that. <gasps> Caleb, what? Sarah told you she's ready for baby two. Caleb, hi. It has been so long. Hi. <laughs> oh, you are... Yes, I'm so excited to see you here. That's so funny. Um, oh, thank you, Erica. You know, I... So interesting thing. I was watching... Um, I love watching crafty videos when I am cleaning my house and I've been cleaning my house a lot the last two days. It's It turned into like a big mess by the end of the month and then I've just been getting it like reset this week. So I've been watching a lot of crafty videos and um, always, always one of my favorites is Heba who is my little journal here on YouTube. And um, she was doing a traveler's notebook layout that I just watched. I think she did it, I think it was uploaded yesterday for the Studio Calico release. And she said in her video that um, someone told her that she didn't journal enough on her layouts. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like it's one of the things, and my point to this is that one of the things with scrapbooking and making layouts and telling the stories of your life is we get to be the author of our own stories and decide how much we include and how much we don't and what types of stories we tell and how we tell them, right? Sometimes we're telling them through just our photos. So if you are somebody who tells your stories through photos and not through words, your work is valid. Um, your work is is necessary like you know don't think that if you don't put a ton of words on a page like I do that it's that you know it's not as good that's not true at all and then there are some people who um like for me I word vomit all, all over all of my layouts like sometimes I even question like is this really a scrapbook layout because it's basically like a whole bunch of text and one sticker <laughs> Like, does that count? Um, and it does. It does count. You know, it's it's me telling my stories in the way that feels authentic, authentic to me. So I just, um, I don't know. I've been thinking about that a lot today because I just watched that video today where she mentioned that. And just, um, I feel like our message should be that, you know, you are the author of your story and you get to decide how to tell it and what ways to tell it. And whatever way you choose is, is valid and good and acceptable and it counts, you know? So it's worthy. It is a, it is a worthy cause no matter what style you choose. Um, <laughs> you don't journal very much. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you should have to. I don't think you should have to. Um, all right, you guys. So that is going to be it for me for today. I hope that you all enjoyed today's live stream. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, that does help with, you know, all the, all the YouTube things. So that would be fantastic. Um, and if you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel. I have lots of crafty content coming your way. I'll be back here next week on Wednesday, same time, same place. We're going to be working again in Project Life, um, and hopefully having lots of really good conversation along the way. Don't forget that after I hit stop on this video, you're going to want to come back and leave a comment for me letting me know what a recent show you've watched or movie that you have loved. Give me some recommendations on what to watch and where to watch it. Um, and then come back next week to find out if you are the winner of the packet of supplies. It's a bunch of um, Project Lifey type of supplies. So come back and find out if you won. If you can't make it next week, no big deal. I will also reply to your comment to let you know as well. 
Thank you all for spending part of your day with me today. It means so much to me to have you all here. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you back here next week, friends. Until then, bye.